नमस्ते एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू डेटा मिलेनियल्स हे एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आवर गूगल डेटा स्टूडियो सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू वर्क विद टाइम सीरीज इन गूगल डेटा स्टूडियो सो लेट्स गो टू आवर गूगल डेटा स्टूडियो फर्स्ट सो दिस वाज द रिपोर्ट व्हिच वी वर वर्किंग इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियोस राइट सो बिफोर वी क्रिएट अ टाइम सीरीज वी शुड नो दैट व्हाट एग्जैक्टली इज द पर्पस ऑफ क्रिएटिंग अ टाइम सीरीज राइट सो the time series graph can be used to visualize trend in counts or numeric values over the time and because the date and time information is continuous categorical data points are plotted along the x axis and connected by the continuous line and the time series graph can answer question about your data such as how does the trend change over the, a particular time right so one of the variable that governs every aspect of our life is time right and often our data is paired with a period of time and the best way to represent time related data is through a time series chart so this was the brief information about the time series chart and why we use it now let's see how we can incorporate a time series chart in our google data studio so you remember we in our data we have two dates date 2 and date both are the same thing and uh, we'll use date 2 to, to create our time series chart so to create a time series chart what we need to do is that we need to go to this button add a chart and then we'll click on this time series chart so click on it and then place it anywhere in your canvas first so when you create this time series chart you will see initially you will have two variable first the date which is continuous variable and second is the count of record now the thing is that currently i don't want these two things i want date 2 as my continuous variable okay and i want sum of transactional amount so what i what i'll do is that i'll take i'll click here and i'll select date 2 okay although it doesn't change but let's see and the dimension would be date 2 okay now in the metric i i want my transaction data right so i want amount and the sum of amount currently when you see this data it doesn't make a whole lot of sense right because we have a lot of data and this graph is small that's why it's getting up and down here right so what we can do in order to make it more appealing is that we can click we can on this drill down option okay and instead of everything date year month and year what we can do is that we can only keep year month and that's it so for every month we will have a particular trend and when we use this trend or somebody uses this trend they will know that for every month how the trend is going on whether it's up or down right now this is a simple time graph series in google data studio there are two other options available with this so we'll try both of them here so let me add add a new page here first okay now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to copy this time series which i've created currently okay so i'll copy this graph i'll go to my next sheet and i'll paste it here so this was the first option that we have for time series in google data studio so let's see the second option which is this one sparkline chart right so what exactly is a sparkline chart a sparkline chart shows the variation of some metric usually over the period of time it usually is very small and often small enough to embed in text and doesn't show axis or coordinate so when we will convert it to a sparkline chart it will not show us the coordinates and axis they are these chart this sparkline chart are sometimes called micro charts and when you think of a visualization of a variable or the variation of the variable then we can use it okay so let's see let's click on this and our time series will change in a sparkline chart so you won't have 
any values in x axis and y axis but you will be able to see that how your trend is going on so this was the trend line chart so let's copy this one and we'll create the third option that we have with this time series chart in google data studio okay so the next option that we have is this is smooth timeline series chart so it won't affect very much the only thing that changes with this is that the points you see here is smooth in in the last chart right now when we want to create this chart we would like to change the styles right in order to change the style what you can do is that you can go to style okay then you can change the color of your lines even you can change the width of the line right now if you even if you want bar you can use it but i won't suggest because the whole point is that we have to create a time series right so we'll use this time series here now if you want to show the data as a cumulative data then you can click on this button it will show you the show you the cumulative data and if you want to show points within your graph then you can click on this button show points and even if you want to show the labels then you can do that so if you want to create a trend line then you have to go on this option trend line and based on your requirement you can select either linear trend line exponential or polynomial trend line so suppose i'm selecting this linear one so you can see that this line okay let me increase the width of this line and different color so now you can see this this one is the linear trend line right so suppose if i select exponential it doesn't change a lot but if i select polynomial then you can see the curve right now google data studio provide this option and it helps you to reduce your effort in creating all the trend line so if you want to add a reference line you can use this option to add a reference line now for missing values what we can do is that either we can put a break or the linear interpolation but i would suggest you to use this line break if there is any break then we can see that where exactly we had our breaks in the data or where the data is missing okay now axis if you want to reverse your axis or if you want to change some axis setting then you can do it from here okay if you want to show the axis title you can click on this button and your axis title will appear if you want to change this graph at a log scale you can click on this button and then it will change into a logarithmic graph okay similarly you will have multiple options with border colors and axis colors you can go and change it from here suppose if i want to change the border color to black oh no let's change it to something else so if you want to change the border color to some other color let's keep it as white only okay so you can change your border colors and you can change the border weight here and if you want to change the alignment of your legends then you can do it from here right now let's go to data and see the last thing within the data if you want to apply any filter on this time series chart then you can go to data and at the bottom of this data section you will have this add a filter similarly the way we had created filter for other charts in our previous video similarly we can add a filter with this for example if i'm adding a filter i can include or exclude let's exclude something so i'll exclude the card type as cold and let's see what effect it has on our chart there you go So that's how you create a time series chart in Google Data Studio. In our next video, I'll show you how you can create a bar chart in Google Data Studio. Hey, if you find this video insightful, then do check our other videos and hit the like and subscribe button.